Hello guys and welcome to Motor Beam. I seriously cannot take this grin off my face because look at these two hotties here. In today's comparison, I'm gonna tell you not which one to buy, but which one is more fun and which one is a proper attention seeker worth your money. Before we begin, subscribe to Motor Beam and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Now before we get this comparison started, I had to clear a few things. I had asked Honda for the CB650R. They had confirmed it. There was a pickup from Pune. I had to get it to Mumbai, shoot it, do all of that. At the last moment, they cancelled. So in today's video, there is no CB650R. And I suppose in the next 2-3 months, it won't still be there. Because there's just one unit and they're just postponing it again and again and again. Another fact that I have to clear is while reaching the shoot location, the rear indicator of this motorcycle was a little bit hanging and it broke off. I did not know where it breaks, so Triumph, I'm really sorry. By now, I have already dropped you guys an email that that has already happened. Uh, if there's any cost, I'll cover it. That said, there is a smart thing and I have to mention, I did mention, is that the moment you turn on the indicator, like from the switch, it says on the meter, right rear indicator with a notification sign. Basically, this motorcycle is smart enough to know that the indicator at the rear is missing. Kawasaki does not have that. Now both the motorcycles have a very different look all around. They are a take on modern classics. Trident is a little more modern than you can expect. Z650 RS is a proper retro classic motorcycle because look at the design. Circular headlight, big tank, single piece seat. Well, everything is quite similar here, but then the Triumph feels a lot more better in terms of design, in terms of modernization. Both the bikes get LED lights all around and the best part is that they are retro and still quite attractive. Definitely, I'll say that the Kawasaki grabs a lot more attention because of the color option that it has. Golden wheels and that green color, look at that. Now, you do get a total of two color options in the Z650 RS. This one, the green one, looks the most dapper over here. The second one is the gray color, which looks uh, just about all right. The third color, which is there for this one, is a special edition, which comes in red. And I find that to be the most attractive because that is a very, very bright red. That said, the Trident comes in a total of four color options. Some are dual tone, some are matte like this one. And it looks very, very simple, sweet and justified. The price difference between both these motorcycles is not more than 55,000 rupees. So if you're considering the Z650 RS, you'll have to pay close to 8, 8.1 lakhs. This one is above 8.5 lakhs and that changes upon the colors too. So which one should you buy? Let me pick the Z650 and the reasons why you should pick this over the Trident. Number one reason is the comfort on offer and the space that this motorcycle has. Now you will tell me that the pillion seat is not there, it's literally negligible. But for the rider, the seat is comfortable. The suspension setup is soft and the overall dynamics are so comfortable that you can ride the distance and keep riding on and on and on and on. Because this motorcycle has the word comfort. I actually like the Z650, the normal one, because you sunk into the motorcycle. This one has a slightly higher seat height, but the seat is actually very nice. The second reason would be if you like golden wheels. Now, <laughs> I know this is a point that not many people would consider, but then golden wheels on a motorcycle that comes standard, wow. This one does have that retro appeal that you look for a motorcycle. And if you're looking for that, this one, the Trident will feel a little bit more modern. The Kawasaki feels actually retro with the RS badge. The next point would be the instrument cluster. You get a completely digital cluster on the Trident, but it is a very small unit with limited data. There is good amount of data, but you have to keep switching. Over here, the speedometer and the tachometer are analog on the Z650 plus the center digital section gives you a ton of information with mileage, range and all of that. And this looks very pretty, actually looks very well justified for a retro modern motorcycle because this one has the feel and has enough information to get you around. Now, both the motorcycles have the exact same torque number of 64 Nm, but the Kawasaki feels a lot more better in city because of the parallel twin motor. This one has a better low end compared to that of the Trident. Another reason to buy the Kawasaki is that the braking feedback. Now, both the bikes have a very decent braking feedback, but then the initial bite on the Kawasaki is actually a bit more sharper and gives you a bit more confidence for that shopping power that is a bit lacking on the Trident. Now at the end, it does feel like the Z650 RS is nothing but the Z650 with a new body all around. But the only thing that does not justify is the price because this one is 42,000 rupees costlier than the normal Z650. So you know what, 
let's talk about the trident You do pay a premium for the Triumph Trident 660 over the Kawasaki Z63 RS. But then again, you get a lot more for that money. Number one being that the motor is there. The triple, the 660cc engine which produces 80 bhp of power in front of 67 bhp of the Kawasaki. This one is just mad. You do get traction control as standard. You do get a lot of electronics. You get riding modes as well which is missing on the Z650. The headlight illumination and the indicators are actually much better on the Kawasaki. But then again, the Triumph is a lot more smarter motorcycle. As I mentioned before, that the indicator on the rear broke, which I didn't know about while reaching over here. But then again, the moment I turned the indicator switch on, the motorcycle told me from the meter that the rear indicator is missing. That is so cool. The cluster on this motorcycle, although it's a little bit small, but then again, it has a ton of information. Plus, with an extra clause, you can get Bluetooth connectivity as well as the Triumph navigation app. That is what is missing on the Kawasaki. You do get a better size fuel tank on the Triumph, which is 14 liters. That on the Kawasaki is just 12 liters. But then again, the riding range for both the motorcycles is almost the same because Kawasaki has been returning me close to 27 kilometers per liter. The best that was there, Triumph gave me close to 24. Overall, this motorcycle feels a lot more suitable for small riders. Say someone like me, I am 5 feet 6 inches. If there is someone like Gandhar or anyone taller from my team, well, they didn't like this motorcycle clearly because this is a little too cramped for them. This is perfect for normal average Indian heighted rider and this one just because of the short dimensions is much fun to ride because of the better dynamics, better suspension setup. Now the better suspension setup is aided for better dynamics because it rides and corners like crazy. Z650 is a lot more comfortable. This isn't as comfortable but this is definitely more fun to ride. The Triumph gets a standard tank guard plus this pattern looks very nice because it actually works as a tank grip and the best part is this. You get a 180 section rear tire on a motorcycle of this category and it grips so well. The best part is, although you have good looking golden wheels on this motorcycle, the Z50, but the Trident has a chunky rear tire which just stands out like crazy. Plus, you get tail tidy as standard. Wow! You do get Michelin rubber on the Trident which offers a lot more grip than the Dunlops on the Kawasaki. Plus then again, the rear suspension setup is easily accessible and you can adjust it the way you want it because the adjusting levers are very very nicely placed on the kawasaki they are upside down so you'll have to actually take off the panel if you want to adjust the rear suspension and the last reason to consider the trident over the z650 is if you live in a city condition where there are speed breakers that are very bad or if you have bad roads do consider that the z650 has a ground clearance of only 125 mm compared to that of the trident which is 150 so there is a chance on the z you might hit your belly now there are some points like the switchgear quality, it's similar in both of them. The Trident gets a joystick kind of a design, Z650 gets an up-down button, the levers are adjustable in both the motorcycles. You get a plastic tank on the Trident, you get a metal tank on the Kawasaki, When both feel just about right. The heating issues in both the motorcycles is not as much, both are liquid cooled, although the Triumph is a lot more tight, a lot more compact and it does produce a bit more heat comparatively, but then the radiator fans just push it away from you. So overall, both the motorcycles are comfortable to ride in the city as well as the highway. The Trident is a highway king here with good performance on offer and great dynamics. The Z650 is a lot more comfortable and makes a lot more sense that if you are going to ride it in the city or just show off with your friends. Now the priority is up to you. If you like a parallel twin sound that is this, you might definitely consider the Z650. It has a very very throaty note and it revs up to 10,000 rpm but then again something that's really very sweet is this. The Trident revs all the way up to 10,500 rpm and this triple definitely sounds like a superbike. A little bit correction on the pricing, the Trident comes under 8.5 lakhs and the Z650 is under 8 lakhs. So if you are considering either of these two motorcycles, well, you get a good set of equipment plus a very good motorcycle and then the service centers are widespread and easily available too. Not as much but then yes they are available. The service cost of the Trident is actually cheaper and then the Kawasaki is a little bit more but then you pay a little less price. But then again, if you are on a budget, you have 
a very good option at literally half the price in the name of the Royal Enfield Interceptor. You might definitely say for the basics update it hasn't changed much and this is the chrome version it does look dope and it has all the retro bits for good hardware good motorcycle you can consider these if you just want to show off and have the retro fun interceptor is definitely a good option thank you so much for watching this video i hope you liked it i definitely love shooting this i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye yeah for my choice i'll pick the trident over any of these bye